I have a suitcase full of in-scale surprises right over there. Hi Tom, it's Mike, your magical model train godfather, and I'm here to make your dreams come true. Oh my God, where's my suitcase? Where has it gone? Oh my God, where is it? It was right there, where is it? Oh, I remember where I put my suitcase. How could I forget? Duh! <laughs> oh well, it's at my home sweet home. That's where it is. Whether it's at home or inside my truck, my suitcase holds a lot of in-scale surprises. This is the fourth and final in a series about my suitcase of in-scale trains. So sit back, relax, and enjoy, and feast your eyes on the remaining trains as we get down to the bottom of the suitcase to reveal its exciting discoveries. All right, gang, here is some of my covered hopper collection. Starting from the left, this uh, row of uh, covered hoppers is by Bowser. Again, I like those paint schemes. They're ACF center flow covered hoppers. So if you can see those there, they got some pretty crisp paint schemes. Again, the cars are not that well detailed. The paint is good, but the uh, actual structure of the car is not that uh, well detailed. I wish they would make them better detailed along with the paint. Anyway, it's, it is pretty cool paint schemes, that's why I got them. I love these Baraxo. Okay, here's a bunch of my Athern covered hoppers. They make some pretty good details. I'm, I'm amazed. They actually have etched middle uh, roof walks and uh, brake uh, chambers and mechanisms, all sorts of different little details in here. Here's some Southern Pacific uh, three bay covered hoppers. Another Southern Pacific T in Inno, Texas and New Orleans, I believe that is. It's a Rock Island um, um, air slide covered hopper, Golden Loaf air slide covered hoppers there. You can see. Uh, Burlington um, air slide covered hopper and a Burlington three bay covered hopper. And there's some more Atherns I have there. A Santa Fe looks like that is. Let me see. Yeah, that's the 
Air Slide Cover Topper. Another Athern Santa Fe, it's a three bay. And another three bay covered hopper by Santa Fe. And then these are my, uh, what are these, train works? Yeah, train works. Three bay covered hoppers, pretty nice. Most of the paint is a little different, the tint between the Athern and the Santa Fe. But these are really nice looking, like those. And this is a BLMA, when they were still making. I guess they're being made by, uh, Athern, or I mean Atlas now, but uh, is an air slide covered hopper, shell plastics, and then these are also, you see these are DLMA as well, yep, um, three bay covered hoppers, They're pretty nice, I like this, they did a good job on those, anyway that is a covered hopper collection. Well, this is my uh, gondola collection that I have here from my suitcase. I have a lot. I have a few more gondolas back at home, but this is what I have here in the suitcase. Plus, I do have one coal hopper. Union Pacific and it's got a coal load in it as you can see. This is microtrains on the left, these cars on the left. This also has a load in it, this uh, drop bottom 40 foot gondola. It's like a load of uh, wheels there of some sort. Train wheels. Right. So, and this is also another Union Pacific drop bottom gondola, no load inside. Micro trains. These are my Trainworks gondolas. This is a 52 foot gondola, I believe, and it's got some ribbed sides as you can see there. Get it really close. Nice detail on it. Really like the, how the ribbing goes. But, uh, also, 52 foot gondola Union Pacific. Very nice how the painting is on the ribbing there. Then I have these 40 foot general service gondolas, also by Trainworks, the Southern Pacific, and a Santa Fe. Really nice. I really like the detail inside of these. Let me pull out the Southern Pacific one, it's a little easier. Look at that detail, isn't that nice? Inside the car there. So that is, those are my gondolas. Buford Shops uh, transfer caboose for Santa Fe. You can see there. You know, it's really highly detailed. They did a really good job of making this transfer caboose. That's that. Here is a Centralia Car Shops uh, Red Santa Fe, Indian Red Santa Fe caboose. They did a really beautiful job on that one too. This is an Athern Bay Window caboose. And uh, they did a really good job of making these. I like how they did that. So you can see that there. And this is a Microtrains. Actually, this is a used one that I picked up somewhere. It's missing the uh, chimney, I noticed. Uh, but that's what you get when you buy them used sometimes. But everything else on it's pretty good. And here's another one that I bought when it came out new, and this one does have the chimney, you can see back there. So, very nice job they did on this one here. I like that. And here are some of my flat cars. These first two are BLM. BLMA flat cars. They're pretty nice. There's a cotton belt down there. And a Santa Fe. Then the upper two after that are Athern flat cars. Both a Southern Pacific. 
Then I have some Atlas flat cars. They're TOFC, trailer on flat car. Two of them here, a Santa Fe and a Pacific Fruit Express on top of a Southern Pacific. And then this is the Bachman Silver Series. Usually I don't buy Bachmans, but the Silver Series didn't look too bad. So I got this particular one with a Navajo trailer on it. And these are uh, Wheels of Time, all of these, this whole row on the right. Okay, there's a, they're all Southern Pacific. It's going to go with my mug trains, bringing down lumber for uh, into the uh, Tustin area on my layout. Anyway, uh, there's one really nice with a Hydra cushion. And here's the bulkhead freight, or bulkhead uh, flat car. Another bulkhead, bulkhead, and those up there. I don't know if you can see the ones at top. I didn't open up their the uh, plastic uh, jewel cases, but um, I I placed in them those uh, wood loads that came with my other micro train set. Um, but I, I wanted to try them on these uh, bulkhead flat cars, and for some reason I don't know what happened, but by putting them in the same box. Even though there seemed to be room for them, it caused the bulkheads to pop off. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. There's one over there on the side, and anyway, I'm going to have to do some gluing, I guess, some repair work. So, these ones, I didn't put anything into their jewel cases, I just left it as is. And they seem to be staying intact. So I made a mistake by putting things <laughs> inside the jewel case. Uh, it wasn't intended like that, for some reason it caused the bulkheads to pop off. Still haven't figured out why, but apparently, you know, something happened. So, anyway, that's my flat car uh, collection that was inside the suitcase. This is what I call my vehicle collection. Over here on the uh, left row, going up and down, are a bunch of train works. Uh, uh, trailers and in this case in front it's a tractor trailer tanker this is the one from the movie duel back in the 70s with Dennis Weaver it's a tanker truck that was uh, chasing after Dennis Weaver in his station wagon I believe he was driving anyway I thought it was pretty cool and I hadn't seen a tanker truck exactly like that at in scale so I got it and uh, these are some more uh, trailers I have here cotton belt Southern Pacific. There's a Southern Pacific reefer, the reefer unit on the, the nose of the trailer, and there's the tank on the bottom there. There's another reefer unit with the reefer unit below the trailer and another tank. Uh, uh, again, a Southern Pacific style. Then up here is Pacific, uh, you can see, oops, looks like one of the wheels are loose or something. Like that. Check on that. Maybe they're okay. Anyway, um, Pacific Food Express trailer. And that one's really nice. And um, down here, I have a Wheels of Time um, Graham bus. Pretty cool. Old style Graham bus from the 50s. You can see that there. Zoom in a little bit closer. You can read the Graham lines there. Graham logo. Yeah, I believe it says Richmond on the front. Actually, has a take it out here. Hold on, there it is. Oh, it says Jamestown. That's what it says. Yeah, pretty cool. You can see inside there. You even see it's like a steering wheel. Some details. I believe you can see seats inside there. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And I got a couple Navajo trailers uh, from Microtrains, so they're pretty nice as well. You can see that there. So that wraps up the collection of trains inside of my suitcase that I've been carrying with me. It's a lot of trains. Hope you all enjoyed seeing part of my inventory. I have a whole bunch more vehicles at home. Um, Train works, the Santa Fe trailers, and I have uh, uh, what's it called? The 
CMW Classic Middle Works, I think it is. Vehicles, I have all sorts of different vehicles, some 50s and some 60s. Uh, cars, tractor trailers, various things like that. So, and a, a whole bunch more train cars and, and buildings. I don't even have any buildings here in this suitcase, but I have a bunch of uh, building kits at home. A whole bunch of different things and some more locomotives and other things as well. Anyway, I'm glad you enjoyed uh, watching this with me and sharing it with me. Now you have an idea of some of the trains I have. Well, I hope you liked this video today. And if you did, uh, click on the like button and please subscribe. I look forward to bringing you more in-scale uh, offerings in the future. Sometimes from here in my truck and sometimes from home. Well, you guys take care. Have a good day now. Bye.